Hello, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a beautiful uh, flip through of this journal that I received from Jenny Wiggins. Jenny is a very, very talented photographer and artist. Um, and her work is really uh, very neat. So it's a three signature journal. Um, you can see all the color. It was tied off with this beautiful vintage, um, like a braid. Very, very interesting. She told me this was made from a wimpy, like a coffee or a cup holder. Um, so I think that's actually such a clever repurpose. Let's uh, page through. Beautiful colors. Uh, there's some tuck spots, lots of little braids, some washi. Um, and throughout, it's very tactile, the things, those are acetate flowers, the ruffle, and the way that these two things match, it's like these flowers come out of uh, the ruffle, journaling cards, even the journaling card has some stitching and the thread changes, or it's rainbow thread. Um, there's some, it appears to be like magazine pages, I would guess, uh, maybe Ideas or Daphne's Diary Flow, maybe even. This is from the P13 paper pack. I recognize it because I made a journal from it. Um, beautiful little Bambi. Um, throughout you'll see tabs, uh, fabric tabs, and just like, it's a very tactile journal. I also think this is a really nice example of a clean line junk journal because there's lots of writing space. There's lots of space to personalize it, but it's not, a, it's not boring, right? So I think the balance between interest and texture and color versus being able to use it is is really nice uh, that's a magazine cutout that's really cute that's the middle also there's lots of time for, uh, space for the journal to get fat um, and the colors the color matching is just perfect so you know the little orange carries through to the peekaboo duck i i love ring bind things because um and just like the forest washi with Bambi, so those details are lovely. This is one of my favorite details. It's a real pen, pen nib, um, a silver vintage antique pen nib with this um, feather in the inkwell and there's some embossed paper. This is a quilt, or it's maybe a cuff actually. I think it's a cuff from a shirt because it's slightly slightly thicker so that's also a very nice balance of texture versus the the thinner on the other side um, again just the touch of orange repeating throughout um, really nice so tuck spots that flaps open that's an envelope the use of paint sample cards very clever um, and it's also nice because that's the whole thing so the envelopes flap goes on to the next page so that's a nice interactive element so here starts the second signature there's a wide space between the two so it can get fat with things that you add which in my case will definitely happen I really like the repeating circle element I like circles in journals Lots of detail, stitching, um, the color match is really nice. Again, the use of an envelope, let me just get that in, and the colors, so this one goes more greens, lots of writing space, um, but also again, lots of interest. This is a, no, that's not a tuck, it's just a little insert. Tiny little paper clips, I think those were from Secretaire. Um, even the colored floss she used matches. Again, the tabs, fabric tabs. So th this is a very plain page, um, but just the layering of the pages. Also the shape of the journal, it's sort of a, a, a squarish, a fattish square, um, which is unusual, uh, different than the rest. And then you've got the flip up. Here's a little tuck. Very, very effective use of magazine pages. And you can see the detail, the blue matches the blue on the dress. So very, very considered journal, um, very elegant. And because the elements repeat and the colors repeat, it's just, it's a calming journal to, to page through. Um, I love this detail. This is a 
Um, these we find as junk journals quite often, um, address books and things, because people don't use them anymore. So that's a nice addition in the junk journal, because it's also half a page. Again, um, the elements that repeat, really good. Uh, some leopard print for me, because that is my favorite color. Um, that's a, like a pocket tuck. Um, again, a little fabric tuck. And on this side, this is clever, that's a magazine, or maybe a, f a photostat of a copy of a, a little embroidered cloth, but that's a real one. So your mind sees the real one and then you turn to the other one. So that's all very clever. These, I know, uh, came from Secretaire. It was an old Italian. It matches this one. It was a slide holder, so it's really nice to see the items used in a journal. Um, again, the colors repeat beautifully. Uh, there you go, a little insert. This is, and also that it's, um, the way some pages go more this way, some people's pages go more that way, so really nice and interactive. And then again, the butterflies with something like, that's like a cutout, you can see through it. It's a really nice tag, actually. I recreate something like that on my brother now that I see it. Uh, this is a, a really nice journal, and there you end with the same trim. And, oops, I lifted that now. So there you go. Beautiful journal. Um, it's really a, um, a very good example of abundance and restraint at the same time. So thank you very much, uh, Jenny, for, for gifting me this journal, for sending me a beautiful happy mail that had the journal in. Um, it's really something that I can, can use. Um, you've captured my personality and I think also a bit of yours, which is, it's nice when both the sender and receiver are shown in a journal. Thanks for watching.